so hello everyone in today's session we will discuss next concept of our uh, sdd pi so in that session we will discuss how we evaluate orders for sdd sdd stands for syntax directed definition means we have to discuss how we evaluate attribute instances so for that we have to use one technique and that technique name is nothing but the dependency graph so the dependency graphs are useful tool for determining an evaluation order for the attribute instances in a given parse tree. Means by using the dependency graph, graph is nothing but it consists of two parameter nodes as well as the ages. And by using that the dependency graph, we have to check the order of attribute instances <coughs> which is determined the evaluations. So while in an ordered parse tree, an ordered parse tree consists of uh, nodes as well as attributes and the values shows the values of attributes the dependency graph can thus determine how these values can be computed means by another tree and the dependency graph we have to check the order of evaluation of each and every attribute instances in another first so let me discuss what is the dependency graph so dependency graph describes the flow of information among the attribute instances in particular parse tree Means it describe the information flows among the attribute instances. So an age from one attribute instance to another means that the value of the first is needed to compute the second. Means consider there is non-terminal symbol A having attribute value as X and the second non-terminal symbol is the B having attribute value S. Then we say the production is that like A produces B. So first we have to calculate the value for the b and that value we have to assign to the a gap means age from one attribute instance to another means that first we have to calculate first attribute and we have to give the value for the second so age expresses constraints implied by the semantic rules and the age for that dependency graph explains what is the semantic rules in more detail for each parse tree node say node labeled by grammar symbol x the dependency graph has a node for each attribute associated with x means each and every grammar symbol will require the node along with attribute associated suppose that the semantic rule associated with the production p defines the values of the synthesized attributes a colon b in terms of the value of x colon c means the rules define a produces x in simple way we call it is same then dependency graph has age from x to a in previous we already discussed that key the production is a produces x means first we have to calculate the value for the x and that x value we have to pass to the a it is for the synthesis attribute same for the inherited attribute also means suppose that the semantic rule associated with the production p defines the value of inherited attribute b colon c in terms of the value of x colon a then the dependency graph has an age from x colon a to b colon c so let me take one example so consider the production and the role so here is the production production is likewise e produces e1 plus t and the semantic rule for that e dot value is equals to e1 dot y plus t dot y so we have to make first parse t parse t for each and every node here so at every node n labeled e with the children corresponding to the body of this production the synthesis attribute val at n is computed using the values of val at the two children labeled e and t means first we have to compute the value for the e1 and the t and that values we have to send to next value is the e value thus the portion of the dependency graph for every parse tree in which this production is we have to draw your figure so in that the dependency graph dotted line is nothing but our uh, parse tree and the solid line is nothing but the dependency graph here means value for the e1 first compute value for the t value for the e1 as well as the value for the t first compute and that value computed we have to assign to the value for the e so this is the order <coughs> So, what is the order? So, the dependency graph characterizes the possible orders in which we can evaluate the attributes at the various node of parse tree. 
this just dependently graph shows that the orders of each and every attribute evolutions for that node's purpose. If the dependency graph has an age from node m to node n, then the attribute corresponding to m must be evaluated before the attributes of n. As usual, we discussed that okay, first we have to calculate the value for the n, and that value we have to submit to the n. That means m has the first value with the first order as compared to the n. So how we write the sequence of the nodes for that dependency graph? Thus, the only allowable orders of evaluation are those sequence of nodes n1 to up to nk such that if there is an age of the dependency graph from ni to nj. Means so we have to find the path from the bottom to top here. So we want to find out the sequences of the nodes likewise means from the bottom to top part here. If there is having a sequence of ages then we find the sequence of nodes also here. So such an ordering embeds a directed graph into linear order and is called a topological sort of the graph. This means we find a sequence of the orders and that sequence of order we call it a topological sorted manner. <coughs> if there is any cycle in the graph, then there are no topological sorts. That is, there is no way to evaluate the SDD on this first. A simple we call it, we not find a path, separate path for that. And if there is a cycle, then we are repeatedly moving on that cycle. So we can't find any path or we can't find any order. If there are no cycle, however, then there is always at least one topological sort. Simple. We call key if there is no cycle, at least one topological sort to we find from our dependency graph. Second, for if there are if there were no such a node, we could proceed from producer to producer until we can back to come node we had already seen ending a cycle. This is how we break the cycle. So for that first we have to go from first to second, second to fourth. Likewise, make this node the first in the topological order, remove it from the dependency graph. With the first node we selected we have removed, means we break the cycle and repeat the process on the remaining nodes here. So let me take an example means how we calculate the sequence of orders here is the topological sort. For example, here is one dependency graph consists <coughs> when this form generally attribute. The nodes of the dependency graph represented by the numbers here 1 through 9 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So as well as how they depend each other also mentioned here. So one topological sort is the order in which the nodes have already been numbered means as usual we take a sequence then we got also one sort means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 9 this sequence will be evaluated as a proper order also there is another topological sort is likewise 1, 3 after 3 we evaluate the 5 then we evaluate the 2 then we evaluate the 4 then we evaluate the 6 then we evaluate the 7 then we evaluate the 8 then we evaluate the 9 so it is another topological sort of this given dependency graph. So in today's session we will we discuss about evolution order as well as the ordering of the evolution of attributes. So next section we will discuss about how we order any attributes as well as the inherited attribute. Thank you.